We've got a lot of emails and a lot of Twitter questions about, in, in a nutshell, folks, people buy stocks, stocks go higher, they sell the stock, or they just hold on to it. Shorting is where somebody sells, my hands are out like this, somebody sells a stock in hopes of buying it back cheaper. So you sell something at $10, hoping to buy it back at eight or cheaper. And if you do that, you make a profit. Well, they have to borrow those shares. And the NASDAQ and a number of other places track how much the short interest has increased or decreased. And today, you have, Forrest Pete, two stocks in the S&P 500 that have pretty darn large short interests. So I yeah, thought we should address it. And these aren't just some throwaway type names that nobody's ever heard of before. Obviously, they're in the S&P 500, but you look at Paramount. It's like 13, 14% of it, of the float or the outstanding, the double digits. We're talking about some very, very big names that you can see what this percentage of this looks like. And it is amazing because I had I never looked at these specific names in terms of, well, could there be a squeeze here until the time comes? And Whirlpool is the other one. And as a matter of fact, in the last year, if you take a look at Paramount, the stock was 24 bucks in April. Now it's 11. And that was April of last year, obviously. July, cool. Whirlpool was 160. Now it's 105. It sure does look like these shorts have been on the right side of these two big names yes. to see the, the, the size of the shorts in some specific names. It certainly can be a trigger and it can give you a little bit of an insight into what direction. Is there a possibility of a squeeze or not? Do they need to start covering you? And I were talking about that with the stock yesterday. It was just getting cratered to the downside. When do mm -hmm. they start to cover? Will they start to cover? Will that be the bump that gives them a lift? You just don't know. Knowing that there is that amount of shorts in there is certainly, I think, an advantageous thing. That's a real quick tutorial, folks, on shorting, how they make money, and some of the biggest stocks, not biggest stocks, but the biggest short interests within the S&P 500.